My name is Magdala Cooper, um, born and raised in Liberia. I left Liberia after the first uh, ceasefire. We uh, fled to the Ivory Coast, my brothers and I, and uh, made our way finally to the U.S. in 93. We landed in Newark, New Jersey, and finally got reunited with my mother and my brother. I hadn't seen my mother in almost about uh, four years. One thing I noticed very quickly when we arrived at the, our new home in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey, it was the projects, uh, housing project in um, First Street. And my mother was constantly working. She was uh, you know, working as a nurse, cleaning the hospital and going to people's homes and cleaning people's homes. It was, it was harsh. I've never seen my mother um, you know, in, in such a condition, but she had to do what she had to do to take care of us, and I really appreciate that. Eight of us living in a, in a two-bedroom apartment in the projects of Newark, New Jersey, my mother still, you know, beyond all of that, she was able to take canned goods and clothing that we had outgrown, pack them up, put them in a, in a barrel, and um, she shipped these barrels to Liberia. And I saw her do this and I thought, wow, you have so much burden on your plate and you're still thinking about other people back home. And, you know, that really showed me a character, you know, a different side of my mother. Just to, um, um, to see that she could change the direction of part of life, right? even though she needed help herself. When I finally moved to New York, I, I thought, well, if my mom can do that, you know, I'm in a much better position today. I was running a showroom, so I had access to clothing in a closet. We had to change the, the closet every season. And oftentimes I'll pack the, I'll, I'll have the interns come in and pack the boxes of clothing and ship them to any charity. And we started sending these little barrels, we would just pour whatever in it. I'll go to my friend's house and or send them an email and say, listen, if you have anything that you want to get rid of, give it to us and we'll send it to, to the Liberia. And we started getting letters back from people saying, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you, I received the package you sent. Thank and it was just so encouraging. It was just, it was almost like I, I got a high from it in a sense. When we first started MCF back in 2004, the goal was just to go to Liberia and help who we could help. In 2005, when we, when we got there, we were given a list of orphanages to visit. We visited orphanages, we saw children, we saw the needs of children. I thought, okay, we really have to focus on education because that was the reason for the atrocity, the war. Um, and the only way we can prevent this from happening again is to educate the children we're helping. I think it was one of the first images um, that the other people sent me where, where I think they had given them uh, pink backpacks for Christmas and they were all holding it up. And so these little heads with all these pink backpacks was just totally adorable. And to see them to realize that they were my little clients with little funky stuff in their hair and they're such happy little faces was really unbelievable. Yeah, when I was designing it, I mean, first when I talked to Magdala, I thought it was going to be school. But then uh, I learned that there were 200 kids and that they had to sleep there and that they had to live there and get them taught and that they need a library and they need a home. And I asked Magdala whether she was interested in making it more like a sustainable village so they, they can really live there like they would live at home. So you would sleep somewhere and then go eat somewhere and then go to school. The academy will actually be a place where the kids can be safe and secure and, um, and protected. It's also providing nutrition and, um, and basic necessity for the child at the academy so the child can be able to stay in the academy and go all the way to the 12th grade. It's a great opportunity for us to be out here on the site to be able to break ground and start this process to put children back to school and we very much look forward to that. 2010 is shipping up to be the biggest year for the McDowell Cooper Foundation. We cannot thank you enough for your support and contribution to the MCF Academy. Whether you join one of our events, help sponsor a child, or donate materials for the MCF Academy, you can change and help change the future of hundreds of Liberian children. This is the moment we're actually starting construction of the Academy. More than ever, we need your support. So I want to say again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Boston.